Good morning. Welcome to Two Minutes with Reverend Rob for this first edition of 2022 in this January. Our theme today is based on January 6th, which is the day of Epiphany. I'll begin by reading a passage of scripture and then a short devotion. A reading from Matthew's Gospel. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is this child who has been born king of the Jews? For he observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is a shepherd to my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had ha appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. And when they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When the child saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Day of Epiphany is a, a powerful message for us, particularly living in this time of change and we're living through COVID again and restrictions, and it's a frustrating time. But this passage of, of Epiphany we, we read, which only occurs in Matthew's Gospel, is a powerful story, and I think it reminds us of the power of what that story means, is that God comes not just to um, Mary and Joseph and the people around Jesus and the people of Israel, but for the whole world. We don't know a lot about who the wise men were or the magi. We don't even know how many they were. We know they brought three gifts, but there could have been more. But the story is only told in Matthew's gospel. And I think it's a reminder to us of the sense of that the message and the Christ child is for the whole world to give us comfort and strength. When we see this passage, we don't know all that has come on here, but we also know this powerful message. It's very simple. As the wise men come and they speak to Herod and try to find out where it is, where this child is, and he doesn't really know, but they follow and they keep walking. And I think that's the message of Epiphany is that we sometimes want God to kind of hit us over the head with something powerful and direct, give us a message. But sometimes we have to keep walking, walking towards the light, walking, following the stars, walking in our lives, and then we'll see the Christ child, as they walked and entered and saw a mother and child in this humble abode, and all of a sudden they were awed, and we were told they were full of joy, and they dropped to their knees and offered themselves and their gifts to him, and then they returned home. And I think that's a story that we need to hold on to, too, in our lives, is to look for God to give us encouragement and strength, particularly in these challenging times. It's the little things we do, living our faith the way that we are called to be, to see God in others and to treat one another with love and respect and dignity, which is getting harder sometimes in our frustrations of this world and this life. But that's what we are called to do, that God is working through us, calling us to live lives of love and compassion. So as we hear this Epiphany story on these 12 days after Christmas, we're reminded the Christ child is still there. It's still there for all of us, not just that one day of the year, but all 365. So let us come and walk and find the Christ child again. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the story of the wise men and epiphany of them coming to finding Christ. That that message is for us here living 2,000 years later in a different place but we are still following the Christ child. Help us to look for him and find him in others. 
We ask for the courage and strength to do it. In Jesus' name, amen.